Hey. Um, sort of two days ago, Nat asked me about some of the types of stuff which I related to, and I also feel the question. But it also brought to mind times when you mentioned I feel hopeless, um, or saying that, feeling that, and times where I've been able to share that with another person without trying to change it at all, or the other person who gave me the problem, have been sort of magical. So um, sort of this leads into, in Buddhism there's a sangha about okay, how to, developing relationships and connections that really support this sort of view of being in the now. Because as you said, in our, our societal structures, they, they give us a lot of guidelines of how to, relate, how to make relationships which aren't that healthy. And look at things as problems. So I'm just, I don't know what you can say about that. Um, I think on the human level it's really beautiful to have people that surround you that are into this subject. Like I think that's really beautiful to have that. Ultimately your freedom is, <clears throat> is nothing to do with other people, so if you're stuck in the situation where there is no one you can communicate this with, then there is still this, this which is free. But I think on the human level, having a community which supports this is super beautiful. Because in regular society, you can't talk with anyone normally about it. Like, um, and people see the world so differently. Like, I even forget how people see the world that aren't into this subject. And they really believe it's real. They don't even know their thinking. They think that what they think is reality completely, and they have no sense that they're thoughts. So having other people is beautiful. But I'm not sure what you meant in terms to um, relating it to hopelessness. Oh, I, I was just two days ago, that's what you were talking about. Yeah. Uh, that was more of just saying I connected with that and yeah. my personal experience. But on the other side, it's like what you said, the, the dangers of you know, <coughs> and also putting on a spiritual air. Yeah. The two yeah. Trying to yeah. State. Yeah. So. And you've got to be true. You've got to be truly yourself, and that takes courage on the human level. Like the, like the more and more you can just be yourself and accept yourself as you are, which is going to be all colours. Or for me, it's all colours. It's like grumpiness, happiness, sadness. And it's, it's not trying, because when we get into this subject, we want to put on the jacket of this subject. We want to be the most peaceful one. Or we, we want to be peaceful or kind or generous. And so then when it comes to paying, we always want to pay because we're like, oh, we are not attached to money. And we have all these ideas, but this is just a new suit that we're putting on, like a new jacket. And really, you've got to be with what you want to be below all that. And it's like no longer having the border between like um, who you are and the expression. So it's, it just comes up. So your, your feeling is hopelessness, and that's your most truest basic feeling at that moment. And so it's like no border between, between life force, the consciousness, the emptiness, the no thing, and that hopelessness. When you're trying not to be hopeless, so normally if you feel hopeless, you try not to be hopeless, you try to be hopeful, you're, you're faking it. You're trying to be this identity that you've been told you need to be. It's like going back to that child that's so willing to sit there and cry if it doesn't get its way, but with intelligence. Like, we still have this intelligence, like a better way to communicate. But just this innocence. But that's, that's also nice when you have then a community around you that can appreciate that, because that's hard to do in front of people that have no understanding of this subject. Like your mum asks you a question or something, or a relative asks you a question, you just give them total, full-blown honesty. <laughs> I feel slightly hopeless at the moment. Then I. <laughs> it's also, you know, sometimes I just, I'm okay with that, and then people don't know how to respond. It's like this is here. It's yeah. Fine. Yeah. Yeah. This feeling home that you should be. Yeah. Yeah, and they want to give you advice. <laughs> I'm most probably a big sinner of that, giving people advice. <laughs> nice.
Okay.